fish. I'm so sorry, you've gone through such a journey already. Hi friends, welcome back. Gina and I are making fish today. Yep, there is a whole fish on my plate and we are steaming it today with everything intact. But don't be scared. I grew up eating this as a kid and I just never thought to make it myself. And I don't know because I'm just scared of the whole fish. But Gina and I are gonna test it today and we wanna see if it's gonna be as good as it is at the restaurant so that it's something that we can serve at home as well. If you're interested in making this recipe, we are gonna link the recipe in the description box. So make sure you click on it, but make sure you stay till the end when Gina and I do our taste test to let you guys know if this is something that you should make at home in one piece. Okay, Kat said it was a simple recipe, but for some reason I feel a little nervous, <laughs> just to be honest. But it is easy, it is easy, it is easy. So first thing we do is we prep the fish. So I bought mine already prepped. I had the pros did it, scaled it, gutted it, cleaned it. It's a beautiful fish. And then what Kat and I did to prep is we julienne the green onions, we skin the ginger, and we julienne the ginger as well. So we've got our water boiling. Now let's prep our fish. And then we're gonna add a couple slices on both sides. This is just to let it steam better and to let the flavors and the aroma just go throughout the fish. And this is my first time cooking with a whole fish. So I have a black sea bass. Kat, what fish did you end up getting? Um, I ended up getting um, a tilapia, and that's something that's normally served at the Chinese restaurants, so I'm just used to it. And it's very affordable and very delicious. The next step is to season the fish with salt and pepper and a little bit of sherry. So next we are going to stuff the inside of the fish with some green onion, the scraps of the ginger, and lime zest. You're going to put this fish on your steaming plate that you're gonna to use to steam, but you're gonna first line it with some green onions right on top of that, right? Again, more aromatic. When your water is hot and boiling, you're going to add some additional aromatic on there if you choose. So I'm adding in a couple more pieces of ginger and green onion. So what you wanna do is when the water's boiling, you wanna put a small bowl right in the middle of your pot. And then we're gonna put the fish right on top and then you're gonna cover it. I don't have a top that's big enough, but I'm gonna use one of a sheet pan. I am a mess over here. I'm still trying to get my fish in. Oh, Mr. Fish. I'm so sorry, you've gone through such a journey already. Okay, I made a nice bed for you. Okay, Kat, I'm caught up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So while the fish continue to steam, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our dressing. So it is just some soy sauce, red wine vinegar, and then the juice of a lime. And that is it, it's that simple. So I'm just gonna mix that up and set that aside. Okay, so my fish is nicely steamed and ready. Gina, how does yours look? It looks good. Okay, so now the finishing touch. The fish is ready to go, but we're going to make it extra fabulous. So we are going to lay on the julienne the green onions as well as the ginger. A little sesame seeds just for that little pretty finishing touch. Okay, so this is where it gets really fun. We are gonna heat up four tablespoons of sesame oil. Okay, mine is just starting to smoke. I don't know if you could see all of it. So I'm gonna pour this over my fish. We're going to finish it off with our soy sauce mixture. It looks so good. I can't wait to try this. I would use a chopstick, but I'm not an expert at it, even though I'm Asian, so don't judge. I'm going to use my fork. Okay, we'll talk about this later. All right, ready? Yep. Mmm. <laughs> 
I dropped it right on my shirt. <laughs> All right, let's do the official scoring first on ease. One to five, five being super easy and one being very difficult. A four, Gina. Well, this is taking into account a little bit of the me factor. As you guys all saw, I had a little difficulty with the whole steaming in the setup. Again, <laughs> that's a cook error, not a recipe error. Yes, true. I didn't feel it was a five. I didn't feel at ease of making the fish. It's not hard, but now that I've had gone through it and I know what pot to use and how to do the steaming, it would definitely be easier, but I still feel like if this is your first time making it, I rated it a four. The people want to know is, is it worth my time doing all these steps to steam a fish? Okay, on a scale of one to five, one through three. It was super delicious, but my only thing about the fish is that I wasn't a fan of the sesame oil. No, it was a lot. When I, cause sesame oil is potent in flavor, a little bit goes a long way, but I stuck to the integrity of the recipe and I poured all four tablespoons over my fish. Use the vegetable oil to do that little pizzazz. And then if you like sesame, just drizzle a little for that aroma. It's so good, I'm actually thinking I would make it for my mom. Well, usually when she comes over, I make like spaghetti or something, something easy. So I think she'd be pleasantly surprised to have me make her something like that. Fish is moist already. So just imagine it's just extra moist and it's just got like a very light and clean flavor to it so if you don't want to try it with the bone and the head go ahead and use the filet but I suggest that you try just to see if you like it so we think that's a big win Kat and I actually felt like we were being a little brave making something with a head on it with a bone in and we hope that by watching this segment and watching us make it first that you feel more confident and it encourages you to try this at home as well. Um, we're always up for new types of experiences, new foods, and we hope that it encourages you to expand your palate and try other types of foods from other cultures as well. And I thought a fish is a good start and we look forward to making more of these types of dishes. We'll be back in the kitchen next week and we hope to see you back again. Thanks friends.